is brought to you in living color. Hi, this is Pamela Anisich, Rose Queen, to welcome you to the 1969 Rose Bowl game from Pasadena, California. NBC Sports and the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Association takes this opportunity to wish you all a very happy new year. The San Gabriel Mountains overlooking the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Kurt Gowdy with Kyle Rote. The only time two undefeated teams have met in the Rose Bowl history, the number one and two teams in America, the Heisman Trophy winner, O.J. Simpson, an enthusiastic, speedy, talented group of Ohio State sophomores. Kyle? Well, it'll be O.J. Simpson against Ohio State's Jim Otis. And, of course, Rex Kern, their fine young quarterback from Ohio State, against Steve Soggy for Southern Cal. Ohio State is favored. Southern California doesn't believe it. We'll see. All right, let's go down now for the toss of the coin at the 50-yard line. The Ohio State co-captains are 56. Dirk Warden, who's injured today, won't play. Dave Foley is number 70. Mark Steyer is 54. And the co-captains for USC, honorary captains, will be Steve Soggy, their quarterback, number 6 and O.J. Simpson, number 32. Ohio, let's see, it looks like USC has won the toss. Simpson says they want the ball. The wind is no factor today, very little breeze. Ohio State will kick off from your right and USC on your left. We're very sorry that we missed the opening ceremonies here. They were unbelievably beautiful, but the Sugar Bowl game ran late. But we'll tell you all about it later on. 79 degrees in Pasadena today. Here are the officials. The referee is Charles Moffat. The umpire is Richard Lowell. The headlinesman is Paul Kaminsky. The field judge will be Lou Lehman. And the back judge is Rudy Hansen. We're waiting now to set USC up. And O.J. Simpson is going to be back, along with Bob Chandler. Simpson will be 32, Chandler's nine. Here's the Ohio State team ready to break out. You know, Kurt, both of these clubs uh, are almost identical in appearance. Both operate from the slot T formation. O.J. Simpson, as we mentioned, of course, the key to Southern Cal's running game. Fullback Jim Otis, the key to Ohio State's running game. Both quarterbacks excellent defensively, although Southern Cal has a greater variety of defenses. Both pretty much defend basically on the Oklahoma Five with the rover to the wide side of the field. And kicking off now for Ohio State. Larry Zelina, their halfback. Ohio State, according to coach John McKay of USC, is the quickest team that USC has met in the last two years. Simpson is closest to you. Chandler's on the far side. And here we go. The 55th Rose Bowl game is underway. A short kick, booting away from Simpson, taken by Chandler in the 10 to the 20. To the 25, and gets up to his 29-yard line. He's hit there by William Pollitt, number 97. So USC, first down, under 29. Soggy, number six, will be the quarterback. Simpson, 32, the tailback. The fullback, the blocker for Simpson will be Dan Scott, and the slot back will be Jim Lawrence. Splitting far to the right now, Sam Dickerson. And they spread Lawrence to the other side. O.J. Simpson coming through for a 35. He averaged over 35 carries during the season again. He usually starts slowly and gathers momentum as the game goes. Doug Adams, the linebacker, number 63, made the stop on him. Dickerson is the split in. O'Malley and Smith are the tackle. Kasijian and Lemer are the guards and Almond's the center. Second down four, USC on their 35. Dan Scott, he doesn't carry too much, and he stopped cold in his 35 by Jim Stillwagon, the middle guard in that five-man front for Ohio State. And for the most part, you'll see neither team's interior line charge across the line of scrimmage, penetrating too much into either territory. Ohio State, of course, afraid of, afraid of taking themselves out of position and opening up big gaps for Simpson. 
All right, they have a wide slot right. Third down, four to go for Southern Cal under 35. They give it to Simpson, and he, I don't believe he has it. He goes to his 38 and a half with Stillwag in the middle guard and Schmidl in the left tackle, 68 and 74, making the stop. There's Simpson going off. It is now fourth down and a foot to go. Southern Cal on their 39. Now Simpson was sent back onto the field, and the Trojans are going for it in their own territory. Fourth down and a foot. And jumping is still wagon. And he, in quotes, he hit the USC player. So now USC has a first down. Still wagon on a long signal count was over anxious. They're fired up. Three polls will vote after this game for the national champ. So you can say this is it for the national championship today. All right, USC now on their own 44 first down. O.J. Simpson crossing the 50 and going to the Ohio State 49. Mac Mark Steyer, the linebacker, number 54, brought him down. The type of offense Southern Cal running, of course, is strictly a one-man offense in, in that there is no particular hole that O.J. Simpson might hit. He could hit any of them. His own lineman, I really don't think, know where he's going to go, although there is a predetermined area. But he makes his breaks and is, determines his cut so right at the last minute. Simpson again. He stops. Fumble! Doggy falls in the ball. USC recovers. Now let's see if the whistle will blow. No, on the 49. It had. No gain on the play at the Ohio State 49 as Schmidlin ripped into Simpson there. Paul Schmidlin of Toledo, a junior, the left tackle number 74. It is third down now and three to go for Southern Cal. We're just underway. We have three minutes gone. And you can see all the records that Simpson has broken. He's broken 11 USC records, played only two years. Here's Simpson outside. Oh, how he's hit there at the 49. Number 32, the rover, Jack Tatum, came up to grab him along with Tim Anderson, the right halfback. Now it's fourth down and three to go. And you can already see the quickness the pursuit in that Ohio State secondary. John Young in pump formation. He averaged 36 yards. And Zelina, Zelina is back. And Pulaski. The kick bounces on the 15 and is out of bounds. And the Trojans are now pinned on their eight yard line. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score, Southern Cal nothing and Ohio State nothing. Ohio State now on their eight-yard line, first down. They have seven sophomores in the starting offensive team. Jankowski splits to the left. A sophomore, Rex Kern, very clever runner, gives the ball to Lotus, the fullback, and he's hit by Mike Battle, who came up from the safety spot. We're going now to the Ohio State 15. This is a high-scoring ball club. It averaged 33 points a game. It was undefeated. Rex Kern will be the quarterback. Leo Hayden, the halfback or tailback. Otis, the fullback. And Zelina is the slot back. Jankowski flanking to the right. Leo Hayden rattles out. And he comes out to the 54. Larry Zelina, who's averaged nine yards a carry, a very nifty runner. Probably the best open field runner on the Ohio State team. Gets the Buckeyes a first down. And there's a takeoff from their, their normal fullback slant play with Zelina coming back on a reverse from his slot back position. That fullback slant play is what Southern Cal is going to have to stop. If they can stop that one-on-one -on -one blocking in the middle of that line and make Kern take it wide, this is what they're hoping to do. All right, Gillian's got in for Zelina as flanker back. Otis, Jim Otis, who scored 16 touchdowns this year, and made 884 yards is piled up at his 24-yard line by Willard Scott, number 71, the right tackle of USC. Now Zelina's coming back on. And the wing back position going off is Gillian. Second down, 11 to go for Ohio State. We have no score. 
Running out of their eye was Zelina's the slot back. Turn fading. Tries to get out of that pocket. He couldn't find anyone open. And he's dropped on his 19-yard line by Al Cowlings, the right end, number 72, and Willard Scott, number 71, the right tackle. So they lost five yards. It's third and 16 to go now for Ohio State. And we're going to have a substitute, I'm sure, for Larry Zelina. He got racked up by Bob Jensen, Southern Cal's right side linebacker. Sessenbach tried to get on the field, couldn't do it. A fake by Kern. Kern, a good runner, though, is knocked to the turf on 21 by Al Cowlings, a junior from San Francisco. So Ohio State fails to move, and now they'll be going into a punt formation. They have a fourth down and 14. Mike Battle is going back as a single safety. And Mike Sessenbaugh is in punt formation. He averaged 36 yards a kick. Boots it away. A low driver. Sessenbaugh, and he's 38. Battle now is ridden down in his 40. John Muehlbach who is a lay minister in the Episcopal Church, the center of Ohio State, went down to bring him down. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score, Ohio State nothing, USC nothing. Southern Cal on their 40-yard line, first down. No score, eight and a half to play here in the first period. Steve Soggy barking no signals. Simpson carries the ball for the sixth time in the game, 45 to the 50, and O.J. goes out of bounds on the Ohio State 47, taken out by Tim Anderson, the right halfback, number 26. And here's that play again. Soggy handing off to Simpson, getting some good blocking. Fred Kasigian, number 64, making a good move to the outside. And Tim Anderson driving him out of bounds. Bob Chandler's gone in now, slot back, replacing Jim Lawrence. First down, Southern Cal, in the Ohio State 47. There goes Simpson in motion. Soggy for his first pass. Throws on the run, and it is good to the 36-yard line to Sam Dickerson, the split in. And he's hit by Doug Adams, number 63, the linebacker. Dickerson, a sophomore with blazing speed, runs 100 in 9-7. And this is a play they'll have to try to stop to all afternoon. Dickerson going down, and of course, Soggy coming out with the option to run the ball if he, if he deems uh, necessary. And of course, this puts tremendous pressure on that outside linebacker for Ohio State, whether to drop back in that pass coverage or come up and force the run. First down, Southern Kelly, Ohio State 36. O.J. looking for a hole. He doesn't have one. He's now carried the ball seven times. The Rose Bowl record is 34 carries by Ernie Nevers of Stanford back in 1925 against Notre Dame. And the way Simpson's going, he's going to shatter that record. Mark DeBevick made the tackle. And here are the Trojans. Nine wins, no losses, one tie to Notre Dame. They've been very successful in the Rose Bowl. Winning 11, losing four. Second down. Nine to go for Southern Cal on the Ohio State 35. Doggy fading. There's Simpson flaring out. It's incomplete. Nearly a lateral. There's a flag down. Flag was dropped. We may have a holding penalty here. Holding it is against Southern California. Usually that holding comes on pass blocking. And now they're talking it over. With Mark Steyer, the defensive captain of Ohio State. 15 yard penalty. Puts the ball on the 50 yard line. Holding. So at a second down and 24 yards to go for Southern California. 79 degrees here, no wind. And we have no score. 7.42 to play in the first period. Now they spread out, a double slot. Soggy is hit as he let the ball go. A hard pass rush by Brad Nielsen, number 77, and by Paul Schmidlin, number 74. That's the way to put pressure on a passer. Third down, 24 yards to go for Southern Cal. That shows you how the wind is no factor here today. 
Going out now is Dickerson. And Terry DeCry has replaced him at split end. DeCry flanks to the left. Bob Chandler, number nine to the right. And Simpson goes over in a slot left. They're trying to spread Ohio State out. Doggy jammed up back in his 43. The 44, Dave Whitfield, the left end, knocks him down from Massillon, Ohio, a junior. And the quickness of Ohio State is putting pressure now on the USC passing game. Fourth down and 31 yards to go for Southern Cal. Zelina and Pulaski are the double safety. Pulaski closest to you. John Young and punt formation. Nice kick. Delina on his 18 to the 20. And out of bounds. Bob Klein, the tight end number 84, went down to make the tackle and drove Zelina out on his 21-yard line. This Rose Bowl game being brought to you in living color on NBC. If it's really special, it's on NBC. Ohio State, we'll call it their 21. They're just nudging over their 20. That was a 39-yard punt, five-yard return. Jankowski splits to the right. Rex Kern to his fullback. There's a hole for him. Jim Otis roaring through to the Ohio State 32. Otis averaged 4.7 a carry this year. There's that play again. Watch this hole open. Strickland and Donovan, the guard. Straight ahead, and this is the type of blocking that Southern Cal is going to have to stop just this one-on-one -on -one blocking. If they don't stop that, Kern will just run it right down the middle on them every time. Two first downs for Ohio State, three for Southern Cal. A little muff on the handoff from center, but Hayden rips through to the 40. Leo Hayden, a sophomore from Dayton, Ohio, carries it to his 44. The safety man, Mike Battle, had to make the tackle. Another first down for Ohio State. First downs are even now, three apiece, six and a half minutes to play in the first period. No score between the number one and two teams in college football. Rex Kern, Lancaster, Ohio, keeps the ball to the 50 and wriggles his way into Southern Cal territory to the Southern Cal 49, where Jim Gunn, who's playing today with two broken hands, they're taped up, made the tackle. Ohio State undefeated. Look at those scores for Ohio State. They average 33 points a game. And right now, Ohio State is calling timeout for an injured player. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Ohio State nothing and Southern California nothing. Ohio State fans, this is a song they play every game, Hurry Up Sloopy. There are 10,000 Buckeye fans here today. Second down, three to go. Ohio State and the Southern Cal 49. Penalty marker down. They go to the uh, 39, but a marker was dropped. And let's see what happens. It's going against Ohio State. Puts it on the Ohio State 46. Motion. Alan Jack checks in at guard for Ohio State, replacing Phil Strickland. Second down, nine to go. Rex Kern looks them over. Straight drop back. He's throwing deep. He's got Zelina over his head. Zelina was open. Larry Zelina. Durko and Battle were back covering, but they got caught, and Zelina was in between them. Third down, nine to go. One of Ohio State's big plays, of course, is that little screen to Jim Otis, or the draw play. He runs it extremely well. He's not that fast, but he's extremely quick. Third and nine, once again, Kern back. Shoots this one out and is batted down by number 51, Bob Jensen. It was intended for Dick Kuhn, the tight end. Bob Jensen from Anaheim, a junior. 
one of the linebackers for the Trojans. Now it's fourth down and nine to go. And Mike Sessenbaugh, the Ohio State punter, is in the game. Mike Battle, number 17, will be back to the single safety. We have no score. Five minutes, 45 seconds to play in the first period. A high short kick. Battle's letting it go, and it gets an Ohio State bounce. Battle picks it up on his eight, and he's driven out of bounds on his nine-yard line. Hayden was down there, a halfback to cover the kick, and so the Trojans now are pinned back with a first down on their own nine. Southern Cal kicked out an Ohio State eight, and now Southern Cal has bad field position on their nine. Dickerson is flanking to the right. Steve Saki, who hit 58% of his passes this year, gives the ball to Simpson. Simpson is really hit there by Mark Steyer, number 54, the left linebacker. And Kyle mentioned, and he'll describe to you again, how Simpson gets the ball deep in the backfield and looks for his hole. Well, he really does, and of course, uh, they give him the offensive line will not penetrate beyond the line of scrimmage for that very reason. They don't know where he's going, so they don't want to leave their block. They make their block, they stick with their block until Simpson comes running by one way or the other. Simpson's had 34 yards net rushing in eight carries so far. Second down five. Soggy throws incomplete to Dickerson. Or to Perry DeCry, who just replaced Dickerson. DeCry was crossing over, and the ball was beyond him. Tatum and Steyer were in there to cover the uh, split in. Third down, five, Southern Cal on their 14. You know, we had heard John McKay was going to open up for this particular ball game, and by opening up, of course, one way would be to try and get O.J. Simpson out loose in one of those flats, dump the ball over to him, give him some running room, and if the boy with the talents he has and his speed, it'd be a great thing to do. On third and five, O.J. Simpson is dropped on his 16-yard line by Jim Stillwagon, the middle guard. And he was helped by Doug Adams, the linebacker. Fourth down, three to go. So we have a battle here between the two 20-yard lines. And uh, once again, Southern Cal will go into a punt formation as Larry Zelina and Mike Pulaski are the double safety for Ohio State. John Young is the punter for Southern Cal. Low end over kick. On the 50, Zelina trying to work to the near side. 45 40. And is dropped on his 38 uh, yard line of USC. He's hit there by number 58, the center of USC, Dick Allman. Timeout action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Southern California nothing and Ohio State nothing. Ohio State now on the Southern Cal 38, first down. Gillian now is the slot back for Ohio State. Rex Kern giving off. He's a beautiful faker. And uh, Southern Cal keys right in there on him after he even hands off. Tony Terry and Bill Redding making the tackle on Otis on the 37-yard line of Southern Cal. There's Alina going back in at second down nine. There you saw Alan Cowlings, the defensive end for Southern Cal, making the tackle on Kern. A lot of pressure on these defensive ends when they run that option play. They've got to be able to read the blocking and know whether to force the quarterback or go for the pitch out. Alina coming in motion, and over the 35 goes Leo Hayden to the Southern California 34 or 33. For Willard Scott, the right tackle, and Bob Jensen, the linebacker of Southern Cal. As the Ohio State fan in stands, this stadium looks beautiful. 100,000 fans here. Sidelines are decorated in honor of the 100th anniversary this year of college football. Third down, six to go for Ohio State and the Southern Cal 34. Turn. Gets rid of it to the 28-yard line where it's complete. Jankowski and Zelina were spreading out, and Zelina caught the ball as they flooded that right flat. Jim Snow and Sandy Durko on the tackle. And now we're going to have a measurement 
President-elect Nixon is here today. He's right down below us on the Ohio State side of the field. At halftime, he will cross over and spend the last half of the game on the Southern Cal side. And he came out here just to see the football game. He's a great football fan. And they're short. Fourth down and a half yard to go. Ohio State on the Southern Cal 29. We have no score. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining to play here in the first period. There they are now in the full house. First time they've been in this set. They've got that first down. They give it to the big fullback, Jim Otis, 210 pounds. And he carries it to the USC 25. He was brought down by Sandy Durko, Jim Snow, and Mike Battle. What a pair of tackles Ohio State has in there on offense. Dave Foley and Rufus Mays, the two seniors. Big, strong, rugged blockers. Now they slot to the left. First down, Ohio State on the Southern Cal 25. That's Kern to the 20. And Rex turns to the 16 yard line. On a sneak, and then he slanted, found his daylight, and ran. He's an excellent runner for a quarterback. He averaged this year over four yards a carry and scored eight touchdowns rushing. Second down now, a yard to go. Ohio State with the first threat in this game. They're on the Southern Cal 16. Once again in that full house. Over the 15 and to the 14 goes fullback Jim Otis. Upset by Bill Redding, the middle guard, and Jim Snow, number 55, the linebacker. Another first down for Ohio State. You'll notice the Southern Cal defense, they'll be setting up late. They flip-flop, they'll go to the strength of the formation. Cowling's going to the wide side. High formation, slot right. Otis to the 11-yard line. And like Simpson, he's the workhorse runner in his backfield. There's a Buckeye battle cry in the background. And on that last tackle, Bob Jensen, the linebacker, and Bill Redding, the middle guard. Second down, seven to go for Ohio State. Otis now has carried the ball seven times for 21 yards. They like to run him up the middle and tighten him up and then go wide. Let's see what they do here. Slot right. Otis again. You notice he was the first man through. Kern, pretending like he still had the ball, then faked to the second man, Leo ha uh, Hayden. He's a clever ball handler, that sophomore Kern, Kyle. You'll watch uh, the shuttling guard. You'll see men coming in and out of that huddle. Woody Hayes, rather than flashing in his offensive signals to Rex Kern, prefers to send them in by sending in players. This time, Dick Kuhn coming in with the play. Now, once again, the full house. Kern looking incomplete at the two-yard line intended for Larry Zelina, number 16, the halfback. He was covered by the linebacker, Jim Snow. And now the field goal team may be coming on. Bob Long is the holder. And that's the end of the first quarter here in the 1969 Rose Bowl game with a score. Ohio State nothing and Southern California. This is Kurt Gowdy with Kyle Roach. Pasadena's fame Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of them all. Ohio State on the Southern Cal 10, fourth down and six as we start the second quarter. They sent the holder in. Bob Long, he's the third string quarterback, number 24. Zelina will try the kick. Sometimes they fake this. He's a left-handed thrower, Zelina. But he boots it from the 17. And it is no good.
Bill Long holding, Zelina kicking, Ohio State has stopped, and now Southern Cal takes over on their 20 yard line with a first down. USC has enjoyed great success in national collegiate competition. They won four NCAA titles last year. They won the national championship in football, baseball, track and field, and tennis. Quite a record. Four national titles in one year. Steve Soggy, a quarterback. And they line up now with a different set. The pitch out to Simpson. And Simpson is ridden out of bounds on his 22-yard line. Brad Nielsen, the right tackle, number 77 of Ohio State, went over to take him out. Second down, eight. As you can see, John McKay coming up with these plays, trying to hit O.J. Simpson either out on that flare on a regular pass or on the last play as you just saw the pitch out, trying to get him out there a little running room because this Ohio State defensive line is just sitting there and reading. Jim Lawrence is a slot back. O.J. Simpson goes in motion. Penalty marker down. Doggy's pass is complete to Lawrence. And he is driven back. His forward motion stopped at his 23. There's an illegal procedure penalty, though. Jack Tatum. Here is one of the great sophomore defensive backs in the country, number 32, Tatum, who runs 109-7. And they already had a good fullback, Otis, so they converted Tatum into the rover uh, defensive back in the Ohio State secondary. Mark Steyer, number 54, talking it over with the officials. A legal procedure has been declined by Ohio State. It was a yard gain for USC. It is third down and seven. Chandler's in and Lawrence goes out a slot back for Southern Cal. They've just opened the second period. There's no score. Two wide receivers out. The pass is to Simpson, the 40. And he was on his way when he was pulled down, met head on there by Ted Provis, number 46. At the Southern Cal 45. There's that play again. Soggy going back. He'll be finding Simpson cutting out toward the sideline. Simpson, not only a fine runner, extreme speed and up the good pass receiver as well. Ted Provost putting the tackle on number 46 for Ohio State. Kyle, if he hadn't hit him head on, uh, that was it. Simpson could have gone down that sideline. No one ahead of him. First down for Southern Cal on the Ohio State 45. O.J. hurtling to his 49-yard line where Doug Adams and Jim Stillwagon. Stillwagon, the middle guard, 68. Adams, 63, the linebacker, teamed up for the tackle. Second down and six to go. Simpson now has carried the ball already 11 times in this game. He has a pulse beat, they say, 15 beats slower than a normal athlete. And he seems to get warmed up and become stronger as the game goes along. Second down, six. Doggy deep. And he fired over the head of Bob Klein, the tight end, and it nearly went to the hands of Mark Steyer, the linebacker who was backpedaling for Ohio State. Third down, six to go for Southern Cal. Come on, they're 49. Come on, Jimmy. Doggy now has attempted five passes, completed two. Soggy is an All-American baseball player as a catcher for the USC National Championship team. He has Simpson flared out to 50, 45, gets down that sideline, and he's out. That's what they want to do, get him out there and isolate him one-on-one. -on -one. They really do, and when you get him out there, we'll watch it again. Watch him. He just takes a couple little steps there and then flares out around behind the blocking. And once he gets that ball in the open, you can see the little move he gave. Again, Ted Provost, number 46, if he hadn't been in the spot, he would have picked up. We'll watch that play again from a different angle all alone. And again, giving Jim Stillwagon, number 68, a move. First down now, Southern Cal on the Ohio State 37. Over the 35 to the 33 is the fullback, Dan Scott, who carries the ball for the second time with Dave Whitfield, Schmidlin, and Stillwagon hauling him down. 
USC has had a unbelievable statistic this year. When they get inside the opponent's 30 yard line, they score. They have scored 33 out of 35 times they have moved inside their opponent's 30. Right now they have a second down and six to go with a wide slot left. Start again, and he goes to the 30 yard line. He's hit there by Doug Adams, the linebacker of Ohio State, a sophomore. Third down now and three to go for the University of Southern California on the Ohio State 30. We have no score, 12.35 to play in the first half. Vincent trying to run for that first down. And he's out on the 25. A good block by Dan Scott, who led the way, as he has so many times for Simpson. Tim Anderson finally pushed Simpson out of bounds. It's another Southern Cal first down. And that's all Simpson needs is that little block you were talking about that Dan Scott gave him on that one. Steve Lemmer on one earlier. All right, action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Ohio State nothing and Southern California nothing. John McKay, the head coach, has won two national championships in his tenure at uh, Southern Cal. Right now, his team's on the move. They're on the Ohio State 25 with a first down, a scoreless game so far. Two undefeated powerhouses of college football. Soggy keeps the ball, and Soggy is to the Ohio State 22 yard line. Number 74, Paul Schmidlin. Went over there to trail the play. And also Dave Whitfield, the left end. And you could say when he faked to Simpson how when Simpson cut up into the middle out, drew those Ohio State defensive players just like a magnet. They all came in with the exception of the two outside men. Mark DeBevick goes out and Mike Ratke comes in out in for Ohio State. Second down seven, Southern Cal. Doggy to Simpson and he's down on the 19 yard line by Dave Whitfield who hit him. Simpson, you know, started wide. He saw a little bit of daylight, and he cut. Ohio State, in their scouting report, says Simpson hits two out of ten holes. In other words, he might have the holes open, but he goes where he thinks he can best. Third down, four to go for Southern Cal. And O.J. has now carried 13 times for 51 yards. They're on the Ohio State 19. Simpson resets. Doggy throws it out to him with the 15 to the 10. Jack Tatum drove him out of bounds. And they're uh, running him wide today. They're flaring him out. And he's being a very effective pass receiver. And this is what I guess they meant by opening up a wider game. They certainly have. They've used him in almost every maneuver you can to get him isolated out. Alone where he has a little running room. Kyle, he looks like he can never get back to the huddle. And you know, he just, as you pointed out a moment ago, he's got the speed of a sprinter, the endurance of a long distance man. He does get stronger as the game goes along. Time out right now. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Southern California nothing and Ohio State nothing. Here's the famed stadium, the Rose Bowl, built specifically for football, used for portions of the Olympic Games. 77 rows of seats, over 100,000 here today in this beautiful place. First down and goal to go, Southern California on the Ohio State three. And Simpson was back pole that time by Mike Sessenbaugh, the safety man. Well, Kyle, uh, if they start to run Simpson wider on those flare patterns, how can Ohio State stop that? Well, one way is uh, to shift their defense going to a 4-3, but once they do that, then they're gambling that he's not going to be running on that particular play, and he can probably tear up a 4-3. 5-2 is a little more difficult, of course, to run against. They have come 76 yards now in 13 plays. And again, Simpson is stopped at the four-yard line of Ohio State. 
And that was Sessenbaugh who has made two straight tackles against Simpson. Kurt, this brings up an interesting statistic. Now, out of 42 plays Cal uh, Southern Cal has had on the goal line, O.J. Simpson has carried 39 times, so I'm sure Ohio State <laughs> knows what to expect. The cry now has come in. Third down, four to go. 15 carries for Simpson already. They pitch to him. They're trying to get him wide. He throws. And overthrows, he had number 19 wide open, Terry DeCry, on the half-back option pass. Looked like he didn't have a good grip on the ball when he let it go. Well, of course, he's only thrown, I think, uh, up until this game three times. He has completed one of them for a 15-yard gain. But unless you throw the ball a lot, in fact, we were watching him during the practice session before the game got underway. He didn't uh, even warm up during any passing. So this is... Uh, not that unusual, I guess, that he would misfire. Ron Ayala will try a field goal. Saki will hold. He'll spot it at the Ohio State 11. Slight angle near side. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Well, Southern California has scored first. They're from their 20 to the four-yard line of Ohio State. And they booted on fourth down, and so now it's Southern California three and Ohio State nothing. Ohio State spreading out now. And they'll have Ray Gillian and Dave Brungard back to receive the kickoff. The man who kicked the field goal, Ayala, will be booting. And Hayden also goes back now, deep, as Ohio State has three men deep. Short kick. The 20, Gillian. Over his 30 and to his 31 yard line. Mike Kalachak, they call him Crazy Horse. Made the tackle. Right after this game, the Orange Bowl coming up. 7.45 Eastern Standard Time from the Orange Bowl Stadium, Penn State against Kansas. Unbeaten Penn State, once beaten Kansas. Jim Simpson and Al DeRogatis will be covering that game. All right, first down now, Ohio State on their 31-yard line. Turn to the fullback, Jim Otis, who brings it to the Ohio State 35. Bob Jensen and Bill Redding, the middle guard and the linebacker, converging on the tackle. Second down, six. Jack goes in at right guard, Strickland out for Ohio State. The backfield has turn at quarterback. Hayden the tailback, Otis the fullback, Zelina or Gillian now is the slot back. Jankowski the split in left. Turn to Hayden. And Hayden. The 39 yard line over to the 41. Leo Hayden ripping tackles. And really a fine runner to be, especially a hard runner to be so fast. He's about a 9 8 man in the 100. Runs with an extremely low base, very hard to knock off his feet. We have a measurement now for the first down. First down, Ohio State. Final scores in the Sugar Bowl, Arkansas beat Georgia 16-2 in the Cotton Bowl. Texas 36, Tennessee 13. Ohio State on their 41-yard line, first down. Southern Cal leading 3-0 in the first half. Eight minutes, 52 seconds to play in this half. The eye on the slot left. Turn faking, trying to get outside. And down he goes on the Ohio State 43. Mike Battle, one of the top defensive safety men in America, came up to hit him. And from behind the rover back of USC, Jerry Shaw, number 46. And we've been seeing Ohio State run into the sidelines, or rather run away from the wide side of the field, because that's where Jerry Shaw is. 
normally he plays to the wide side of the field of course it's the strength of the USC defensive alignment second down eight Ohio State under 43 there's Jim Otis barreling through to his 49 yard line straight ahead behind the blocking of Donovan Muehlbach and Strickland with snow and Jensen the linebackers knocking him down a six yard gain third down now and two to go for Ohio State Kuhn replaces Jankowski he's a bigger man they have two tight ends in there now and their full house backfield and Ray Gillian the right halfback stopped along the 50 yard line by Jerry Shaw the rover back just short of the 50 fourth down a long yard to go for Ohio State and since the ball the punter is coming in Mike Battle will be dropping back as a single safety seven minutes nine seconds to play in the first half Southern Cal ahead three nothing third punt now for Spencer Baugh it's a booming spiral a touchback and USC will come out on their own 20 yard line with a first down the Pacific 8 conference captured a record six national championships during the 1967-68 athletic year winning NCAA first place honors in football basketball baseball track and field tennis and gymnastics since 1959 the conference has won 45 national championships more than any other collegiate conference first down now for Southern Cal on their 20 they're ahead three to nothing soggy pitching to Simpson 25 30 look out he runs 109 four they won't get him. He's being convoyed in. 80 yards for O.J. Simpson. And here is that play from a different angle. And watch this block by his fullback, Scott. Coming out on the outside. And a great cutback. And this, of course, is they were in a 4-3. Kurt Gotti mentioned a while ago what they might try, and this was the 4-3 that they have to catch them in. And they gambled, and here he is all alone. One of the great runners in collegiate football history. Watch this man weave his way through. And then that tremendous acceleration, a 9-4 man in the hundred. He is the fastest player in Southern Cal football history. He does one thing that makes him great, according to his coach, John McKay. He runs with both feet close to the ground. He's not a high stepper. The kick is good by Ella. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score now, Southern California 10 and Ohio State nothing. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Kurt Gowdy and Kyle Rode again. Baylor kicking off for USC. The high kick to Hayden. Hayden over the 20 to the 30. Good run back to his 32. And Ohio State now has the ball first down. The Buckeyes, who have averaged 33 points a game this year, have been held scoreless so far. We have 6.34 to play in the first half. O.J. Simpson has already made 131 yards rushing in this game. The record is 194 in the Rose Bowl game. Turn off to Hayden. Hayden to his 35-yard line. Three-yard gain. He was hit by Snow, the linebacker, and Redding, the middle guard, turned around and helped grab him from behind. Second down, seven to go. Backus goes in at guard, replacing Donovan. Backus will be number 57 for Ohio State in their slot left. Gillian's in there now, wonder if Zelina's injured. Turn to the first man through to the 40 is the fullback, Jim Otis. Number 70, Gary MacArthur, the tackle stopped him. And Jim Snow. Five-yard gain, third down, two to go. 
Jankowski's coming out, and the other uh, tight end, Dick Kuhn, goes in to team up with Jan White. And once again, the old full house, straight tee. Otis to his 43-yard line. Snow and Jensen backing up that line for the Trojans made the stop, and it's Ohio State first down. Jankowski quickly goes back in as tight end. He led Ohio State in pass receiving this year, a sophomore. We haven't seen Rex Kern come with that quick out pass to Jankowski. And we might look for it pretty soon. That and the turnout to Zelina. First down, Ohio State on their 43. Otis to the 45, 50 in the Southern Cal Territory to the Southern California 47. This is some fullback, this boy. His father was Woody Hayes' best friend. And Hayes, Hayes said, I have never quite uh, built this boy up the way I should for fear people might think I'm prejudiced because his father was my best friend. A tremendous blocking in there by these two guards, Brian Donovan and Phil Strickland and Alan Jack, the courier guard. Second down now, a short yard to go for Ohio State. Leo Hayden uh, had the fake and they pitch out. That's Gillian running wide. They fake to Hayden going up the middle. And then pitch out to Gillian number 11. Zelina has a slight rib bruise. And that's why he's not in there right now, the first string halfback. They have announced, though, he'll probably be ready to go in the second half. First down for Ohio State on the Southern Cal 41. Jim Otis to the 37-yard line of Southern California. Once again, Snow and Jensen, the linebackers, 55 and 51 on the tackle. And this fellow, Otis. 5'11", Otis has made 56 yards rushing with 13 carries. Hayden has a hole over his left tackle, and he's to the Ohio uh, to the uh, Southern Cal 31. Bill Hayho and Bob Jensen on the tackle. And what a cool quarterback Rex Curran is, moving that ball around, giving it to Otis one time off one side, then the crisscross in the backfield with Hayden going off to the left side, then coming back out around with it on his own. A very durable. Young fellow for as many injuries as he's had. Separated shoulder, jaw, ankle, his back. But apparently he is quite a fast healer. All right, Ohio State on the Southern Cal 31 with a first down. White in it in and Kuhn comes out. Ohio State is trailing 10 to nothing, the number one team. Undefeated team. Against unbeaten but once tied Southern California. There goes Hayden ripping through the 20 and down to the 18. Sophomore Leo Hayden of Dayton, Ohio had to be pulled down from behind by Jim Gunn, number 83, the Southern Cal in. And there's another first down for Ohio State. And this drive is going to be very important to them. 332 to play in the first half. They're behind. And they want to get on that scoreboard. Ohio State on the University of Southern California 18-yard line. The pitch out to Gillian. And he's trapped behind the line of scrimmage by Jim Gunn. Gunn, number 83, is an end who runs 109-8. He's very hard to get outside on. And he's the boy when you see his heavily taped hand who's playing with two broken bones in his hand as he has all year. That was a loss of three, second down and 13. The old straight tee. Nobody out. His turn to pass. Shoots it incomplete. Intended for Bruce Jankowski. Sandy Durko, the left half back of Southern Cal, was trying to cover him. Third down and 13. Kern has attempted five passes, completed one. White's coming out. Soon back in again. Third and 13, Ohio State in the Southern Cal 21. 
Turn to throw. Wide open. Gillian. First down goal to go. Ohio State. Ray Gillian of Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Junior caught that one. Here's that play again. Turn going back. Faking to Hayden. In the meantime, Gillian had gone down about eight yards and bent right out. Perfectly thrown pass, too, by Rex Kern. What a fine young quarterback. Here he is, just bending out, working outside of Jim Snow, number 55. First down, goal to go, Ohio State. Otis to the one-yard line. The fullback, Jim Otis, a junior. Most of these boys will be back next year. In fact, most of them will be back for the next two years for Ohio State. 23 or 16 sophomores. Out of their first 22. Woody Hayes said we knew they were good, but we didn't know they were this good. This drive began on the Ohio State 31. They have second down goal to go, and Otis is over. Ohio State scores a 69-yard drive, and they just powered their way right down the field. Watch this blocking now. You've got the right guard. Number 61, Allen Jack. Here comes Otis. And behind Rufus May, 73. The center, John Mulbach. All right, Roman will try the kick. Long is holding, the kick is up, and the kick is good. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl to score. Southern California 10 and Ohio State 7. Anderson now is going to kick off. Tim Anderson is a left-footed kicker. O.J. Simpson and Bob Chandler, the two best athletes on the University of Southern California squad, are back on the goal line. Chandler has the makings of an outstanding decathlon champion. He's uh, only a sophomore. Tim Anderson kicking off. And a short kick. Chandler... Has it taken away from him on the 20. And running to the far sideline is Mike Berry, who is O.J. Simpson's understudy, which means he doesn't get to play too much. And he's out of bounds on the Southern Cal 31-yard line where Tom Bartley drove him out. All right, we have a minute and 38 seconds to play in the first half. Southern Cal under 31 with a first down. They spread Dickerson to the left and Chandler to the right. Froggy on a draw to Simpson. Simpson to the 35-yard line of Southern Cal. And he's hit in there. Steyer, 54, the left linebacker. And there was that draw play, that little stutter step that O.J. Simpson makes, and he cuts all the way back to the weak side. That's, of course, what Ohio State is one reason why they don't want to penetrate into that backfield too much for fear that they'll take some of their men out of position, let them open up those holes even wider. They're hitting, reading, looking to see which way Simpson's going to go. Soggy went to the sideline to talk to Jim McKay. McKay had a clever story yesterday at the kickoff luncheon. He said, always get a kick out of television when you see the quarterback come over and the coach is supposed to give him a place. Actually, I just open my mouth and I don't talk and I wave my arms around and I want to be seen on television. And Soggy's a nice young man and he likes me. And then when it's all over and the cameras are on me, I say, okay, Steve, go call a good play. So we'll <laughs> see what kind of play he's called. John McKay, what a job he's done here. And of course, you have two coaching greats here today, Woody Hayes, 18 years at Ohio State, who said I was only going to stay 10, but I like the job so much, I want to stay as long as I can. Second down, six. Two timeouts remaining. Soggy is going to pass it if he can. He's boxed in, he's away now, and he is stopped back on his 21. Pressure applied by Brad Nielsen and Dave Whitfield. And also Mark DeBevick, number 83. Once again, Southern Cal calling timeout to stop the clock. They now have third down and 19 to go. 
And Ohio State has changed their defense a little. They've gone into a 4-3 rather than the Oklahoma defense. They, they feel that uh, they can get a better pass coverage and particularly picking up something coming out of that backfield. What they do risk, of course, is that uh, Southern Cal will decide to run with the ball, which will give Simpson the break. But in pass coverage, the 4 3 is, is a little better for them. Over 100,000 people here, the San Gabriel Mountains in the background. Perfect weather here in Pasadena, 79. It's been beautiful here the last three or four days. Bob Hope is the Grand Marshal of the parade. And Kyle, I thought he had the best description of O.J. Simpson. He says he gets into the end zone more than penicillin. Now you better figure that from Hope. Better send you fishing again. Third down, 19 to go. Asagi fires to the far side over the head of number nine, Bob Chandler. Now it's fourth down and 19. Offside penalty is going to be declined, of course, by Ohio State. Soggy now has completed four out of eight. Simpson and Soggy go off. Ohio State's putting back a double safety. John Young's in punt formation, Sensabaugh, and Pulaski, the twin safety. A high kick. Fair catch being called for. Fumble by Pulaski, and he recovers on his 40. Both teams have handled the ball well today. They've made very few mistakes in this game, and Ohio State now takes over on their 40 with a minute and four seconds to play in the first half. Well, as you can see, the long shot is on the field. That's just the, the way these punt receivers are looking into that sun. That's to be extremely careful. Last time Ohio State had the ball, they went 69 yards and 14 plays for a touchdown. A field goal by USC and an 80-yard run by O.J. Simpson is in their scoring. Rex Kern. It's complete. Boy, he laid that one right in there. The number 80, Jan White. Perfect pass to him. Ohio State quickly lining up without a huddle. 58 seconds to go in the half. First down for Ohio State on the Southern Cal 43. Out of their eye with Gillian in the slot right. Turn to the sidelines. Jankowski's out to stop the clock at the 41-yard line. Bruce Jankowski from Fairlawn, New Jersey. Now that play you just saw with Jankowski going about two steps downfield and then right for the sideline. They have a takeoff on that play, which I'm sure Southern Cal is concerned with, where he takes that step, heads for the sideline. He gets the fake pump from Rex Kern, and then he heads upfield. And, of course, this puts the pressure on Sandy Durko, the cornerback for Southern Cal. Second down, eight to go for Ohio State. They're trailing 10-7, close of the half. Jim Otis, the fullback, lugs it to the 35 of uh, Southern Cal with Jensen and Redding and also Al Cowling to right end. Ohio State now calls time with 34 seconds remaining in the half. Whether Ohio State will have occasion to do it or not uh, remains to be seen, but they can call plays, uh, a number of plays in sequence without even getting back to the huddle against Michigan State. I think they ran something like five straight plays without ever huddling up. You know, this game is being seen live in uh, Mexico. Canada and in Hawaii today via the satellite. And the Rose Bowl has uh, many firsts to its record. The first radio coast-to-coast -coast hookup when the nation was linked together was the Rose Bowl game of January 1st, 1927. And the first west-to-east color telecast of a nationwide hookup came here from the Rose Bowl, January 1st, 1954. Woody Hayes and John McKay, you've just seen them on the sidelines. There's Woody watching his Ohio State team with the ball. They have a third down and a yard to go on the USC 35. Turn fires down the middle. Complete to Gillian. And Gillian on the 16-yard line. Ray Gillian has caught two big passes today. 
Here's that play again. You'll see Kern go back. No fake at all. Straight back. Gillian coming from his slot back position. Just curling over the middle. Mike Battle in. Almost getting in there in time to shake the ball loose. Ohio State now first down on the Southern Cal 16. 17 seconds. And Otis to the 10 yard line. And Ohio State steps in and calls time again to stop the clock with 12 seconds remaining in the first half. Again, it was Mike Battle and Jim Snow. Battle of safety man number 17 and Snow number 55 for the tackle. So now, Kyle. Ohio State on Southern Cal's 10 second and four to go and 12 seconds remaining in the half. And what do you do? Go for the field goal? <laughs> or risk the clock running out on your play? The last two times Ohio State's had the ball, they've really moved it. They went 69 yards to score and this drive began on the Ohio State 40 and now it's on the Southern Cal 10, a 50 yard drive. Dave Brungard has replaced Leo Hayden as tailback for Ohio State. Well, there's no doubt Ohio State can gain yardage. In their last eight games, I think they went over 400 yards in each of the eight games. Southern Cal defensive unit now trying to stave off Ohio State here in the closing seconds. Second down and four to go. Turn. Fire. Batted down by Battle, who thought he had it for an interception. It was fired hard. He couldn't have quite hold on to it. But an outstanding defensive play by Mike Battle. And a good maneuver by Rex Kern, too. He came back out of that center. And instead of going straight back and setting up, he would have been caught, I think, by, I believe it was Jerry Shaw, Red Dogging. But he decided he would curl back, give himself maximum position. All right, along the hole, Jim Roman to try a field goal. From the 16-yard line of Southern Cal, the kick is good. With three seconds to go in the half, Ohio State has tied this game. And it is a game just like we all thought it would be. Scoring and close between these two powerhouse teams. So Ohio State now, after Simpson ran 80 yards for a touchdown, has picked up the momentum. And the last two times they've had the ball, they've moved against USC. And thus far, it has been Simpson on the ground and also as a pass receiver moving the ball for Southern Cal. For Ohio State, Jim Otis and some great pass catching by Ray Gillian, particularly. Working in behind Larry Zelina in that slot position. Tim Anderson, the left-footed kicker, will boot. I don't imagine he'll be aiming that kick at O.J. Simpson who's covering the far side with Bob Chandler the near side. And Simpson has already stung Ohio State badly today. I think it'll be a squib kick anyway. I believe it's laid down flat. Squibbing it, here it is. And it's downed on the 33-yard line of Southern Cal with Dan Scott, the fullback, covering the ball. Well, Southern Cal now has the first down in their 33. Two seconds remaining in the half. Have a fantastic halftime show here. The Ohio State and Southern Cal bands will be entertaining you, and I know you're going to enjoy it. One more play in the half for Steve Soggy. Pitches to Simpson. OJ turns it on now and goes to the sideline. The stadium clock. There's the gun. So the first half. Ends in a tie, 10 to 10. USC had a 10 nothing lead on a field goal and an 80 yard touchdown run by O.J. Simpson. Ohio State came back on a 69 yard drive to score and then they kicked a field goal with seven seconds remaining in the half. Here's a touchdown run, Kyle, again. For and we'll take a look at that. Watch this cutback and this is what makes him so dangerous. Not only with the great balance, he's, he's shaking arm tackles there. Now watch when he gets out here. He'll slip just a little. Then that great acceleration. Bob Klein running along, giving him a little escort service there. Incidentally, O.J. Simpson accounted for 187 yards in that first half, 135 rushing, 
and 52 yards on three pass receptions. He scored two touchdowns for USC in the Rose Bowl last year. And now there's uh, President-elect Nixon who will be going to the sideline and will be escorted by Governor Rhodes of Ohio to the middle of the field. And then Governor Reagan will take him over. And here is Ohio State's touchdown. Otis the full by getting an excellent block from Allen Jack, 61, his run. There are the stats, Kyle. And Ohio State having a little edge in yards gained on the ground, 148 to 128. Southern Cal, a slight edge in yards gained passing, 65 to 61. Incidentally, O.J. Simpson had 138 yards himself, but because of some yardage lost by quarterback Steve Soggy on some of the pass plays, they brought down their net yardage down to 128. The leading rusher for Ohio State has been their fullback, Jim Otis, with 68 net yards. Simpson has carried the ball 18 times in the first half and Otis 17 times. And they're both threatening the Rose Bowl record of 34 carries by Ernie Nevers going all the way back to 1925. Ray Gillian, Dave Brungard, and Leo Hayden are deep. As Ayala kicks off for USC, the second half is underway when that ball was touched. Gillian doesn't get much as he runs it back to the 25 of Ohio State. We watched the sidelines. Larry Zelina had his helmet on. And we'll see now whether he comes in or not for the second half. The first string wing back or slot back, uh, back was injured in the uh, second period. Rex Kern, the sophomore quarterback, and he's a nifty. They really have something in this boy. Ohio State on their 24, they spot it. First down. Game tied, 10 all. That's Jim Otis, the fullback who's been hammering inside those tackles today. He's to the 29-yard line. Willard Scott, number 71. Jim Snow, number 55. It's Gunn, Terry, Redding, Scott, and Cowling up front for USC. Snow and Jensen, the linebacker. Shaw, the rover back. Durko and Young, the halfbacks, and battle the safety man. Second down, five to go for Ohio State. Jim Otis again to the 32-yard line of Ohio State. The tackle by Jim Snow, and he's made plenty of tackles today, number 55 for USC. And Otis hasn't been gaining any long yardage, but certainly steady yardage. In that first half, 17 carries for 69 yards, and we've seen him pick up two good gains here. When you get a close-up of an Ohio State helmet, we'll explain to you. Now they're in the eye and a slot left. They have third down and two to go. The quick pass incomplete to Jankowski, number 15, was coming up on him, John Young. And Ohio State now has a fourth down and two. Those uh, are Buckeye leads. If they uh, make a touchdown, they get a full lead. They get parts of Buckeye leads for outstanding defensive plays or outstanding offensive plays during the season. Sort of like the old World War I and World War II airplanes. <laughs> In punt formation now is Sensabaugh. And Mike Battle is the safety man. Hello, and this is a good kick to run back and battle and get any room, but he doesn't, and he goes down. Dan White was down there, and number 53, Leo Hayden also, number 22. So it is now USC's ball, first down on the USC 31. And in that first half, Steve Soggy completed five out of nine, and that broke Jim Powers' career mark for USC of 186 completions. That was set back during 1947, 48, 49. All right, Soggy the quarterback, Scott the fullback, Simpson the tailback. The pitches to Simpson. OJ is hung up at the 30. That was Jim Stillwagon, number 68, the middle guard who drifted over to take him and helped by Tim Anderson, the halfback. You'll see Ohio State trying to force O.J. to go wide and keep it wide. What they fear most is that cutback ability of his. So when they come off of their block, they're really looking for that cutback, trying to drive him into the sideline. 
Second down, 10 to go. Southern Callender, 31. The game tied, 10 all. Dickerson flank left. Jim Lawrence to the right. Soggy fires, and it is complete. Jim Lawrence, who was flanked to the right, went out of bounds on the 40-yard line, or let's see, 40, right on to 40. Tim Anderson drove him out. They have a third down now and a half yard to go. We're talking about some of the USC records Steve Soggy was shooting at today. He's already broken one. He has just tied the one for a single season record of 109 completions. That was set by Craig Ferdinand in 1964. One more and he'll be the sole leader. And he carries it himself on the sneak and gets a first down for Southern Cal. Mark Steyer dropped him, but his momentum lunged to the Southern Cal 43. The reason we mentioned Steve Soggy's passing records he's shooting at, he's not too big, and he wants to prove that, uh, contrary to a lot of people's belief, that he is big enough to do the job. Nine first downs for USC, 13 for Ohio State. Soggy setting up, is throwing deep to Lawrence. Out of bounds. Lawrence is being double teamed by number 26, Tim Anderson, and number three, the safety man, Mike Sensabaugh. Second down, 10 to go for Southern Cal. The Rose Bowl game from Pasadena being brought to you in living color on NBC. If it's really special, it's on NBC. And the Rose Bowl is something really special. The theme of the parade, another masterpiece, was a time to remember. And this game may be a game to remember. Second down, 10. Southern Calendar, 43. Soggy in the draw to Simpson. The 45 to the 50. Simpson finally spun down on the Ohio State 43-yard line. And it was Jack Tatum who got him. And here he is again. You watch this move. He's already looking where it's cut back. A great block by Jack O'Malley, number 73. Then cutting back again to the inside. Look at those great lateral moves he has. And there are two great athletes meeting. Jack Tatum, just a sophomore, weighing 210, runs 197. Tackle O.J. Simpson, who's playing his last college football game today. First down, Southern Cal in the Ohio State 43. Doggy flares it out to Simpson. And Simpson dumped on the 42-yard line. It was Steyer, who's been an outstanding linebacker today, Mark Steyer of Louisville, a senior, who brought Simpson down. A good thing Steyer had long legs. <laughs> Simpson made a great move on him. And if he hadn't been able to stretch those legs out, I don't think he could have got him. You know, Kyle John McKay, the coach of USC, says, what makes a great runner? I think he should be six feet tall, weigh over 200, have speed, and run with both feet close to the ground. And Simpson fills all four of those. There's a pitch out, a fumble. He dies. Who's got it? Ohio State recovers. Simpson died, but Sensabaugh was on it. That's the first fumble lost in this game. That's the first significant break in the game, too, uh, by fumble or interception. Now we'll see how young Rex Kern takes his club in. All right, Ohio State a first down in the Southern Cal 48. The game is tied 10 to 10. 11 minutes and a half to play in the third period. Running forward, Leo Hayden, and he's been a good runner in that sophomore tailback spot today. Mike Battle and Jerry Shaw, the rover back and the safety man hitting. Hayden weighs 2'6", and he's got speed, as Kyle Rowe pointed out. And that's uh, another case of where Alan Cowlings, who incidentally is playing his first game at defensive end for Southern Cal. He's normally a defensive tackle. He's moved out to the defensive end position, and he's got to be able to read that spread option play, and he's having a tough time right now. Hayden runs 109.8. Turn to the fullback, Jim Otis. And Otis tumble over. Might have uh, picked up a half yard. Willard Scott was the man that upset him. It's on the 36 of Southern Cal, second down 10. Ohio State, the quickest team that the USC has played, and USC has the real blazers on their ball club. Four or five men who run the 109, four, five, and six. There goes Hayden again, driving off tackle to the 31-yard uh, line of Southern Cal. 
Bill Redding, the middle guard from Costa Mesa, California, making the tackle. And Southern Cal's defensive halfback, Sandy Durko, number 16, playing about 10 to 12 yards off of Bruce Jankowski, a fine split in. And of course, one of Breck's current favorite pass patterns is hitting Jankowski on that quick out. So unless Durko pulls up a little bit more, they may go to him. Hayden has averaged better than seven yards a carry in this game. Turn on a keeper. And turn the tackle for a loss. Al Cowling, 72, and Willard Scott, 71. Cowling's number 72 has been a boyhood friend of O.J. Simpson. They grown up together, went to high school together. In fact, Cowling talked about the early days. One time they had a wrestling match, and he remembers O.J. when his little boy got a nosebleed and cried. In fact, uh, O.J. Simpson married Cowling's uh, high school sweetheart. He introduced her to O.J. Now fourth down and seven. And turn throwing. Kicking loose to the 30. He's dropped down by number 46, Jerry Shaw, who made the key play. Jerry Shaw has made more key plays defensively than anyone else for the Trojans this year. And he made a big one. Had he not nipped. Rex Kern, he might have gone for the first down. So there's a timeout. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl to score. Ohio State 10 and USC 10. <laughs> USC on their 30-yard line, first down. Soggy steps him down. Simpson looking and is stopped on his 32-yard line. There's Tim Anderson, number 26. Number 83 is Mark Debevic, the end. Second down, eight. Give you those final scores again today. Arkansas defeated Georgia. They had been unbeaten, 16 to two, and Texas romped over Tennessee, 36 to 13. So the Southwest Conference did all right for themselves here on this New Year's Day. Here's the fullback. Pops loose out of bounds, though. And Scott, and uh, that ball really squirted out. It's on the 39-yard line of USC. And for the second play in a row, Ohio State's defensive end, Mark Debevic, he's playing the short side of the field, number 83 there in the left corner of your screen. Tremendous defensive job. Meeting the interference, stacking it up, grabbing hold of the ball carrier. Third down and a short yard to go for USC on their 39. A little different set this time. They're out of the eye. Scott trying to get the first down. He's over the 40 and to the 41, and it appears that USC has it. But Tim Anderson making the tackle of Mark DeBevy. A first down for Southern Cal. Now Chandler goes out, his wing back. Jim Lawrence comes in. Back in the eye again. Dickerson flank to the right. Lawrence to the left. Pitches to Simpson. And there's a marker down. That's going to be on the fullback, Scott, who broke through there. He saw that the pitch out went a little awry, and Simpson was reaching out for the ball. Charging through there was Jack Tatum, the rover back. And Scott trying to get to Tatum. The flag went down. That Scott has done quite a job, sensational job of blocking for Simpson the last two years. And you talk about the durability of Simpson, how about the durability of Scott, <laughs> who has to hit those big linemen time after time. It was a clipping when Scott tried to angle in from behind to save Simpson. Now they call it a holding. Now I guess he reached out and tried to hold him. So it puts the ball back on the 20-yard line. Now it'll be up to those Ohio State linebackers to watch Simpson wherever he goes, and you'll you'll see him. They they won't take too deep a drop. They have a first down now, and 31 yards to go. The pass to Simpson at the 30, and he gets most of it back as he's run out of bounds on the USC 39 by Mike Sessenbaugh, number three, the safety man of Ohio State. And what opened that up was they caught him in a red dog maneuver. The linebacker over to the side where Simpson was lined up. 
Came in on a red dog maneuver. Simpson just scooted out in the area that he had vacated. Second down, 12 to go for USC. This game is tied 10 to 10. Eight minutes to play in the third period. Doggy down the middle, and it's over the head of his intended receiver, the tight end, Bob Flying. Number 84. He is being covered by Mark Steyer. Third down and 12 to go for USC on their 39. John McKay uh, has been asked many times why he runs O.J. Simpson so much. Here's Woody Hayes, the Ohio State coach. Always reminds me, Kyle, of a famous quote of Paul Brown when he coached Jimmy Brown. He said, when you have a big cannon, shoot it. And they've got one. Third down, 12. Doggy trying to get out of trouble, and he's hit by number 74, Paul Schmidlin, the junior tackle of Toledo, Ohio. Whitfield was also in there, but it was Schmidlin, number 74, who made the tackle. So now the ball's back on the 28-yard line of USC. They have a fourth down and 23 yards to go. The kicker is in now, John Young. Mike Sessenbaugh and Mike Velasquez will be going back. This will be the fifth time he's punted. The average 38 yards a kick in this game. And this one, they had to rush on him. The short kick. And is stopped on the 47 of Ohio State. Putting a rush on with 77 Brad Nielsen to force a bad kick. Timeout. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is tied. Ohio State 10 and Southern California 10. This is Kurt Gowdy with Kyle Rote. A happy New Year to you from NBC Sports. First down Ohio State on their 47-yard line. Seven minutes, 12 seconds to play in the third period. There's the fullback, Jim Otis. Over the 50 in the USC territory to their 47. And Ohio State came out in an unbalanced line that time, off to the right. They had uh, an extra tackle over on the right side. Southern Cal adjusted their defenses to that side, and they hit back to the weak side. Otis doesn't look like he's picking up much yardage, but he continues to bang away four, five, six yards at a clip. Once again, Otis to pull back to the 45-yard line, and Big Ten Foles will have to look at him again next year. He had 96 points he scored this past season. He's now made 85 yards net rushing in this game. Kuhn goes in, replacing Jankowski to split in. Ohio State, just short of the Southern Cal 45, with a third down and a yard and a half to go. Sophomore Rex Kern looking over that Southern Cal defense. He keeps it, takes the option, and he has the first down. A very clever option runner on that keeper. Mike Battle hitting. The Orange Bowl game coming up right after this one. Penn State and Kansas from the Orange Bowl with Jim Simpson and Al DeRogata. Ohio State now on the USC 40-yard line, first down. This game is tied 10-10. to 10. Two undefeated teams. Gillian over the 35 and Gillian to the 32 of Southern Cal for in the secondary battle 17 and young 15 had a team up to bring him down oh and they get a lot of power on that play it's a counter play they go unbalanced right or they overshift their offensive line to the right they pull both guards and also a tackle from that other side or the other tackle from the other side get three men out in front of them now in short yardage the full house T and there is Otis the fullback Going behind that blocking of Donovan, Muehlbach, and Strickland, who have been opening the way for him. A wedge right in front of him. And Ohio State has a first down on the Southern Cal 27. And this is what Southern Cal, in talking with their coaches before the ball game, said this is the one thing they've got to stop, and that is they've got to stop those runs right up the middle where, as you described it, Donovan and Strickland, those two guards, and Allen Jack as well, just blowing them out of there. First down, Ohio State. And there they go again inside. This time it's Leo Hayden, the swift sophomore tailback. 
Back any time you use the word swift, you're using a pretty good adjective to describe these Ohio State boys. It's on the 22-yard line of Southern Cal, a five-yard gain, second and five. This is the type of ball control power football that Woody Hayes has been famed for. He's opened up more this year with his talented sophomores. Turn gives it to the first man, Jim Otis, the fullback. When trying to slant off the right side, was hit there by Bill Redding and Jim Snow. And the Ohio State band strikes up the Buckeye battle cry as their team is now threatening on the USC 21, third down and four. The game tied 10 to 10. Four minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the third period. Jankowski spreads to the left. Turn to Hayden. There's that hole open again. He's over the 20 into the Southern Cal 17. Leo Hayden. Tony Terry, the tackle, and Bob Jenkins, the linebacker. And Ohio State grinds it out. They have another first down. And with this type of offense that Kern is now running with this sprint option, there's just no way that you can double up in any one area because they can hit and strike at you in so many different ways. And particularly when it, with a quarterback like Kern who can carry the ball as well as he can. Hayden has now averaged seven yards a carry. has 77 yards and 11 carries. The fullback has hit that time. Otis stopped by number 55 who blitzed him. He shot the gap. Snow number 55 and dropped him. It's second down and 11 to go for Ohio State on the Southern Cal 17 and a half. Otis has 91 yards rushing. Hayden has 77 yards rushing. Ohio State's had the ball most of the way here in the third period. They've controlled the ball on the clock. Turn off to Hayden. That's been a very effective play for them all day. And Hayden's to the 10 yards. And it's a very deep type of a draw play. Watch Kern go back. This is Hayden coming in, and he breaks off to the left side. Virtually no defender within five yards of that line of scrimmage. Ohio State now has its two tight ends in, Kuhn and White. Jankowski goes out. They have a third and three on the Southern Cal 10. Turn keeps the ball and just gets to the eight yard line, faking the Otis up the middle, faking the pitch on the option, and then keeping and running inside. You'll notice how clever he is with his feet. That's the way a good keeper man should be. That quite he's got to be very clever going down with those feet. The field goal man's coming on now, Roman. Jim Roman. The ball's on the eight yard line of Southern Cal. Fourth down and a yard to go. It's right in the middle. Those goalposts are sticking right up there for him. Long is holding. And here's the kick from the 15. It is up, and it is good. And Ohio State takes the lead. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl to score. Ohio State 13, Southern California 10. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Ohio State will kick off. Here's Kyle Roach. Well, of course, the Big Ten Conference, one of the most respected conferences in the country and one of the oldest of the conferences. And Big Ten schools have captured a total of 93 NCAA team championships since it started. And Ohio State, a representative here in the Rose Bowl, has won 16 of those team titles. Thank you, Kyle. It's Anderson kicking off. O.J. Simpson takes it on the 8 to the 10 to the 20. And Simpson gets it out to his 27. Mike Ratke went down to make the tackle, along with number 32, Jack Tatum, for Ohio State. 21-yard kickoff return. Southern Cal now trailing 13 to 10. Has the ball on their 32-yard line. They flank Dickerson to the right. And Lawrence to the left. Simpson. And 
as he tried to get outside, Doug Adams laterally, number 63, went over to cover him. Anderson came up from his right halfback position on the 31 yard line. Scott has gone out now, and Humphrey Covington has come in at fullback, number 39. Second down, seven to go for Southern Cal. One minute to play in the third period. Doggy under the gun, fumbles! Ohio State recovers! Dave Whitfield. Put the rush on and knocked it loose. Saddlemeyer also in there. And now Ohio State in great shape. Has the ball in the Southern Cal 21. Ohio State has just taken the lead, 13 to 10. There's Hayden being pulled down on the 18-yard line. Jim Snow made the tackle. Second down, seven to go. Leo Hayden along with Jim Otis have powered Ohio State's ground attack. Tejo comes in a tackle replacing Scott for Southern Cal. This has just been raw power for Ohio State here. Turn to Hayden. Faking, giving off. There's Turn. What a fake by Turn. Turn going back, faking to Hayden. He fooled everybody in the ballpark. And he kept the ball. Watch this, Tyler. Here it is again. Making a beautiful fake to Leo Hayden. Sets up. Now right back up the middle. Picks up John Mulbach. Well, that's the way to handle that ball, the quarterback. And what an opening he had. His first down now. And goal to go for Ohio State on the Southern Cal 4. There's the gun. the end of the third quarter in the 1969 Rose Bowl game with a score Ohio State 13 and USC 10. This is Kurt Gowdy and Kyle wrote the fourth quarter of the 55th Rose Bowl game and Ohio State leading 13 to 10 as a first down and goal to go in the Southern California four. Rex Kern to his fullback, Jim Otis, who bucks to the two-yard line with Bill Redding, the middle guard, and Tony Terry, the tackle, stopping him. Well, Otis now is 93 yards in this game on the ground. Hayden is 88, and Kern is 37. Ohio State. The game was tied at halftime, 10 to 10. At one stage, USC led 10 to nothing. Kern trying to, he was going to pitch out to Hayden and he kept it. He saw that he might be in trouble trying to lateral it out. Al Cowling broke in there to nail him. And he got him on a four yard line, a loss of two, third and four for a touchdown. And as good a ball handler as Kern is, you're seeing the USC defensive players tackling everybody that comes out of that backfield because he is extremely smooth at this, extremely deceptive. And they're just not taking a chance. They tackle Leo Hayden way back in the backfield. Third and four for an Ohio State touchdown. Kern throws to Hayden. Touchdown, Leo Hayden. And you know, Kern had a little difficulty getting out of the center there. You'll see him stumble here just a little bit. Wasn't able to make the fake as good as he wanted, but Hayden, by that time, was free in the end zone. one of the sophomores they've got a gang of them on the Ohio State offensive and defensive team here's a kick by Jim Roman and it's good action will continue here at the Rose Bowl the score is Ohio State 20 USC 10 Ohio State now will kick off Bob Chandler and OJ Simpson 
are deep, and the left-footed kicker, Tim Anderson, will do the booty. Simpson's on the far side. Chandler closest to you. One hundred two thousand and sixty three here today. And they kick away from Simpson to Chandler in the 15 to the 20. Chandler gets to his 30. Where USC now will put the ball in play. Incidentally fans only one month away Saturday and Sunday February 8th and 9th. It's the Bob Hope Desert Classic Golf Tournament in living color on NBC. You know, Kurt, looking at that last touchdown call, what a beautiful call by Kern. He'd been sending Otis in on those fullback slants. And on the touchdown play, he faked the handoff into Otis as he was drove up the linebackers, pulled them off of Hayden as Hayden went free in the end zone. Now it's USC that must come from behind. Doggy to Simpson. He's down to the 32-yard line of Southern Cal. He's hit there by Vic Stottlemyre, number 69. Second down now. You know, a funny thing, Kyle, I think they were trying to get their halfback run guard on the field, number 12, to get in a signal. He couldn't get on, and Kern went ahead and called the play anyway. And I think it's uh, at this stage of the game, with USC trailing, they've come from behind in seven of their ten ball games. That's right. Seven out of ten, USC are trailing and one. Simpson goes in motion. Doggy fires and gets the game at the 37-yard line. That was Jim Lawrence, number 28, the slot back, a senior who uh, had a shoulder injury when uh, USC played at Oregon and has missed four games this year. Third down, five to go for Southern Cal on their 37. Scott back in at fullback. Covington goes out. Doggy dancing away. We'll try and throw on the run. Tries to dump it off there to tight end Klein, number 84. Klein was being covered by that sensational sophomore rover back Jack Tatum. And now it's fourth down and five to go for Southern Cal from their 37. And what a defensive unit Ohio State has here. And think of the one they're going to have next year. They only have one senior out here right now, Mark Steyer on the field. All the rest, sophomores and juniors. That Tatum something, isn't it, Kyle? Number 32. He's just quick as a cat. Velasquez and Sensabaugh deep. Don Young in punt formation. And he boots it. A nice spiral. Sensabaugh handles it on his 20. And is driven down on his 25-yard line. The man that tackled him was Fred Kasajian, the guard. And also going down, Dick Alman, the center. So Ohio State now in the lead, 20 to 10, has the ball on their 25. And he'll probably look for them to play a ball control game now with 12-21 to go. Alone in this second half, Ohio State has gained 79 yards on the ground. Rex Kern. Off to Hayden. That's one time they stopped that play. When Kern brings it back deep, sort of a delay or a draw to Hayden. It's been very effective today. It goes back to the 23 of Ohio State. A two-yard loss makes it second and 12, and Bob Jetson made that tackle. And the key to this drive, you can watch on your screen the middle of that offensive line and defensive line. John Mulbach and the courier guard, Alan Jack on one side, Brian Donovan on the other. Center John Mulbach right in the middle of it. Kern now taking a little more time getting his plays off. That one goes to Leo Hayden. Hayden stopped at the Ohio State 25 by Bob Jensen, number 51, the linebacker, and Jim Gunn, the junior in from San Diego. A couple of young fans maybe seeing their first Rose Bowl. They'll see a lot more. Third and ten. Sensabaugh goes in. Let's see what Ohio State does here now. They're dropping him back on third and ten. Short one to Jim Otis, the fullback. He goes to the 28. Snap to the up back Jim Otis, where Jim Gunn and Tony Terry, the left end of left tackle. 
pinched him in. Now it's a fourth down, and Sensa Ball be back in punt formation. There goes Mike Battle back as a safety man. This is the fifth time he has had a punt today. High pass. But away she goes, and it's a beauty. Battle drifting back to his 21. 25. 30. Getting a block. 35. And out of bounds. A 19-yard return by Mike Battle. USC will have the ball on their 40. Timeout. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Ohio State 20 and USC 10. All right, with 10 minutes, 21 seconds to play, Southern Cal has been hit. And there's an Ohio State man uh, down. Jim Muehlbach, their center, was hit with a clipping penalty on that putt return. They have the ball in their 21-yard line with a first down. Doggy sets up out to Simpson. Simpson fumbles at the Ohio State. Recovery. Steyer hit him and jarred the ball loose. I believe since the ball recovered. Went out of bounds. And also number 15 in there, Mike Pulaski. And Ohio State's really fired up here in the second half. And the pressure building up in this particular ball game for Southern Cal because with their hopes of perhaps getting re-ranked as the number one team in the nation, we didn't went through that whole first half without a fumble or an interception here in the second half. They fumbled three times. All right, the Buckeyes in the Southern Cal 16. Ohio State leading 20 to 10. Seven sophomores in the starting offensive team. Kern dumps it off to Gillian at the 10. Gillian is in for the touchdown. Here's that play again. Kern going back. Gillian coming in from his little slot back position. Just a little delay and then right down the line behind the USC defensive line. Now here he is. Just that little delay. Then moving over in behind the USC defensive line. And a pretty good pass up into the stands too, Kurt. He's got quite an arm on him. Ten minutes and five seconds to go as the Buckeyes score again. And they're coming on strong here in the second half. The boot by Roman is good. Well, this boy Gillian is a junior, and he's done a big job today. He stepped in for Larry Zelina, a starting sophomore slot back or wing back, who's been quite a star. Zelina was hurt. He had his ribs hurt early in the second quarter. Gillian has gone in, and Gillian has been some replacement. Well, right now, here from the Rose Bowl and 102,000 fans, NBC Sports wishes you the happiest of New Year's. And while making your resolution for 69, please make one to drive safely and observe all the rules of safe driving. Thank you. Anderson kicking off. 27 to 10 now, Ohio State ahead. Mike Berry runs it out to the 30. Both these teams have been strong fourth quarter teams this year. It's been their best quarter in scoring, both Ohio State and USC. Doug Adams made that tackle on the kickoff. USC on the 30 yard line now with a first down. 17 points behind. Doggy's pass to Klein, the end is completed. To the 39-yard line of the Trojans where Tim Anderson made the tackle on Bob Klein from Pacific Palisades, a senior. Second down, a yard to go for Southern Cal. Both these teams have been better this year than the coaching staff thought they would be before the season started. Soggy running the sneak and gives Southern Cal a first down on the Southern Cal 43. Tackled by Stillwagon and Nielsen in the middle of the Ohio State line. 
At this point, you don't anticipate Southern Cal bearing from their usual strategy, and their strategy involves getting that ball to O.J. Simpson 70% of the time. And I'm sure Soggy's trying to figure out how to get him out there isolated alone. Soggy setting up deep. Fires to the far side, flying, catches the ball at the 45 of Ohio State. And it's another Southern Cal first down. I think O.J. Simpson's going to have to be an even greater broken field runner to get open on these passes now because every time he goes through that line, somebody's grabbing him in there. Nine and a half minutes to go. Covington's in at fullback, replacing Scott. Soggy now has hit 11 out of 17 passes today. He's usually a very accurate passer to Simpson, and they key in on him and stop him at the Ohio State 43. Number 77, Brad Nielsen. Number 68, Jim Stillwagon. And they have been tough in the middle today, those two. Second down, eight to go. Simpson's been held to 10 yards net rushing in the second half. He made 137 in the first half. One of those, the big play, an 80-yard touchdown run. Scott back in, replacing T Covington at fullback. Second down, eight. Soggy again out of the pocket. Firing deep for Dickerson. Intercepted by Sessenbaugh. Mike Sessenbaugh to the 20, to the 30, to the 40, 50. And it finally hit there. A flag is dropped back on the 38 of Ohio State. They dropped the flag. And there's that play again. Soggy going back, throwing deep for Dickerson. Coming right in in time to make the interception. Mike sends the ball, number three. And he does some pretty good running here, picking up some good blocks also. Finally brought down by Jack O'Malley, Southern Cal's right offensive tackle. The clip occurred at the Ohio State 28, where they dropped the flag. That's Ohio State has the ball with a 27 to 10 lead. And they now put the ball in play on their own 13 yard line. And the time is 8.46 to go. Well, I can't remember, Kyle, when a team won a conference championship, went undefeated, and became number one in rating with so many sophomores as Ohio State has. Sophomore Rex Kern. Gives it to Gillian. Gillian to the 16-yard line of Ohio State, a three-yard gain, tackled by Bob Jensen, the linebacker, second and seven. And apropos of what you were just saying, on defense, they only have one senior. On offense, uh, in their starting alignment anyway, just their two senior tackles and their senior center, John Mulbach, Rufus Mays, Dave Foley will be graduating. But outside of that, all of the rest, sophomores, juniors, you think they might rank high in the preseason ratings <laughs> next year? Second down, seven. Rex Kern running the keeper. Here's an amazing thing on this boy. Last June, he had a spinal disc operation, Rex Kern. He's had uh, injuries all year, but he must be a tough one. He keeps bounding back. It's now on the 17, or eight, let's put it on the 18. Third down, five to go. Ohio State ahead, 27 to 10. They've shut Southern Cal out here in the second half while scoring 17 points. Kern takes his time. He'll be calling an audible here. Changing. Now he takes too much time. And he'll put the ball back on the Ohio State 13 and make it third down and 10. Kern has rushed for 40 yards today and completed seven out of 13 passes for two touchdowns. The uh, first string center, John Muehlbach, today has been the only serious injury of this game. He fractured his ankle here, and he hasn't been back in. Jim Roman's been centering and kicking. Third and 10. Turn over the middle to Gillian. That same play that went for the touchdown. And Gillian out to the 28. There's the same play that Ohio State just scored their last touchdown on. And then a young quarterback, the sophomore quarterback. Incidentally, you'll see the, the net type of jersey that the Buckeyes are using in this ball game, anticipating the warm weather. 
Ray Gillian, a junior from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. The Super Bowl, the Baltimore Colts against the New York Jets. We'll be coming up. We'll tell you more about that right now. Time out. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score, Ohio State 27, Southern California 10. Play goes back in. You saw Gillian come to the sideline wearing number 11. He now is wearing number 16, Zelina's jersey. Evidently, Zelina's injured and can't come back. Jim Otis, the fullback. To the 30-yard line, two-yard gain for Ohio State. Snow and Jensen backing up the line on the tackle. Second down eight. Six minutes and 50 seconds remain in this game. Ohio State trailing 10 to nothing. Tied it up just before the half and has roared away here in the second half. Otis needs one more yard for 100 yards in the game. Here's the pitch to Gillian. And Gillian stops at the 29-yard line. A yard loss, it'll be third down nine. Talking about that Super Bowl, the New York Jets, Joe Namath against the Baltimore Colts, a fantastic defensive club, two teams playing in the Super Bowl in Miami. We'll be there, along with Kyle Rode and Aldi Rogatis on NBC to tell you the story. 2.30 Eastern Time. Turn to Leo Hayden. Jim Gunn, the end, dropped off, number 83, and made the tackle. You know, this uh, 100th year of football, it'll start the centennial. There's the clock uh, going. College football this year continued to shatter a tennis record, to shatter scoring. Wide open. Highly entertaining. And they should have an even greater year this year in their 100th. Here's a punt by Sensabaugh. It is out of bounds on the Southern Cal 28. Well, USC now really has to uncork something before these 102,000 fans and you millions looking on here. They'll need a miracle rally. They're trailing 27 to 10. They set up out of that eye now. Soggy to Lawrence on a reverse. Blanker reverse to the 30 to the 35. And ridden down on his 36-yard line. It was 79, Bill Urbanic from Denora, Pennsylvania, Jr., who made the tackle. Second down, a yard to go. Dickerson to the left. Lawrence to the right of the wide men. O.J. Simpson powers his way over the 40 into the 43-yard line of USC. It's good for a Southern Cal first down. Simpson hasn't carried the ball nearly as much this half as in the first half. He now has 26 carries. He had 18 in the first half. He has a total of 153 yards rushing. Come on, baby. We ain't done yet. Just under five minutes to play. Doggy running out of the pocket to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, and into Ohio State territory to the Ohio State 48. Number 26, Tim Anderson, the halfback, made the tackle on him. Second down, a yard to go for Southern Cal. And Ohio State opening up that defense a little bit. There are two ends, Dave Whitfield, Mark Sebevic, both coming out with Simpson when he comes out. Soggy a flip to Klein, the tight end, and Klein skips out of bounds on the Ohio State 44. Bob Klein. Southern Cal has a first down on the Ohio State 44. The score... Ohio State 27, Southern California 10, four minutes and seven seconds to play. Doggy is firing deep to Dickerson. No good, Dickerson at the goal line. Sense the ball there with him. He had a step or two on him. Sense the ball was coming fast. 
Second down, 10 to go for Southern Cal on the Ohio State 44. Ohio State pretty much still in their 5 2, but with the one exception, the two outside ends, as they come in, they look at Simpson, and if he starts to float out into that flat, they're dropping off trying to cover him. Whereas before, earlier in the ballgame, they were going on in on their normal pass rush. Doggies completed 12 out of 20. Second down 10 for Southern Cal on the Ohio State 44. There goes OJ to the 40 to the 38. Arenthal James. And that name given to him by an aunt who suggested it, who admired an actor by that name. Arenthal James Simpson, better known now as OJ, Orange Juice Simpson. I don't know whether Soggy's calling automatics or not, but just as soon as we mentioned the five-man line, Ohio State jumped into a four-man line, which they are now, which is ideal to run against. Third down and four. It's to Dickerson at the 20. Dickerson has a first down at the 18. And the clock stops with three and a half to play. There's Sam Dickerson, a very fleet split in, just a sophomore from Stockton, California. Runs 109.7. Chandler comes in. Lawrence goes out for Southern Cal. 27 to 10, Ohio State. Doggy again. Trying to get away. He does. Nice scrambling. The pass is complete at the 11-yard line. And leaping up there to grab that one is number nine, Bob Chandler. The flanker back. The Orange Bowl coming up right after this game. Penn State against Kansas. Jim Simpson and Aldi Rogatis will be describing it to you. Doug Adams going back for the tackle. Now second down three for Southern Cal on the Ohio State 11. Chandler's out and Lawrence back in a slot back. Doggy pitches to Simpson. He throws a pass and it is a session bar intercepting. Check that. Looks like uh, 26, Tim Anderson. He and Pulaski were fighting for the ball. And another interception. They had that one smelled out all the way. Our production stage manager today has been Eric Popke, a former Buckeye from Youngstown, Ohio. Dick Tripp. Spotting for USC, Burl Charles does a fine job of broadcasting the Ohio State game on WVKO, Columbus, Ohio. You see him hug that ball to the summit, Leo Hayden, he, he wanted to be sure that he wasn't going to lose it. We have a flag down and doing statistics for us today, Steve Bailey of KMPC here in Los Angeles. The old Utah flag. Flag down against Ohio State. Clipping half the distance to the goal. And Ohio State has the ball now in their 12-yard line. 2.28 to go. Well, he asked Woody Hayes if his sophomores would be nervous, and he said they don't have enough experience to be nervous. All they do is go out and play. So maybe when they're seniors, they'll, they'll have some time to think about it. Turn to Jim Otis, who now has over 100 yards rushing in this game. Turn's back next year. Hayden's back. Otis is back. Zelina's back. Gillian's back. The backfield will be back intact. Third down and 16. And we have two minutes to go now here in the 55th Rose Bowl game. You see Kern, how they go for him. He gave off to Otis, but he had two men going for him. He's so clever handling that ball. And there is the play, although it didn't gain much yardage that they, I think, won this game on, really using Jim Otis on that slant up and down the field. Southern Cal has called a timeout to stop the clock. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Ohio State 27, University of Southern California 10. 
Woody Hayes, a history uh, bug, has seen a bunch of sophomores make history here today as a kick by Sensodaw chases battle to his 34, runs it to the 40, and nearly broke that one. He finally hit down on his 48-yard line. This Rose Bowl game has been produced by Lou Cussero, directed by Harry Coyle. The unit manager has been Bill Palmerston. Associate Director John Kittleson. The Technical Supervisor Ralph Clement. And the Technical Director Jerry Ireland. We've all done such a great job of organizing and getting this game ready and putting on the air for you. There's O.J. Simpson taking a pass. The first down for USC. They're on the Ohio State 41 with a minute and 29 seconds to go. Steve Soggy. Passes to Simpson. And he's out on the 35-yard line. Art Burton now in. That rover back took him out of bounds. USC lining up in a hurry. Another quick one. That is incomplete. Lawrence, the flanker back, tried to get it. Minute seven to go. The Pacific 8 Conference NCAA Centennial Football Queen is Miss Kathy Loffrey of Oregon State University. An outstanding student of the junior at OSU. He's one of the three finalists for the National Centennial Queen Conda conducted by the NCAA earlier this season. Soggy back again. To the sideline is completed on the 28th to Bob Klein, the tight end. And that stops the clock with a minute and three to go. So the Ohio State Buckeyes coming in here rated number one have won this game and uh, Penn State plays in the Orange Bowl. They're undefeated, Kyle, and the, there are three polls voting after the bowl game. Penn State, if they win big, might move into number two. Captain Dirk Warden is now in for Ohio State. To let him get in the Rose Bowl game. Doggy's pass is incomplete. Intended for Sam Dickerson. Of course, Ohio State, uh, I guess, Kurt, with that one exception, maybe a couple of passes, but with the one exception of the long run by O.J. Simpson, they've done what they had to do today, and that's stop O.J. Simpson because he, he has been their offense all season long. Tremendous ball player, tremendous run he made, and they have uh, they've contained him. The Trojans lose. A couple of great ones in this boy, Soggy and Simpson. USC has a freshman quarterback named Jimmy Jones from Pennsylvania. He was one of the most sought after quarterbacks in America last year. I think he's from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. But he'll step right in there next year. Go, Second down, 10 to go. O.J. Simpson. Goes inside the Ohio State 20 to the Ohio State 18. And uh, USC in to stop the clock again. Number 55, Mike Ratke. The end uh, brought him down. So with 51 seconds to go, Simpson may have two or three more times to handle the ball. When he does, it'll be his last for USC. And he'll go down. Many are rating right now, the greatest running back in the history of college football. Trojans have one timeout left. They've had some good ones, Southern Cal. Garrett, John Arnett, nobody of yours, Frank Gifford, Kyle. And I think, uh, oh, if if O.J. Simpson stays healthy during some of these postseason games in which I think he'll be participating in, uh, what a great career he has still ahead of him. That's right. Third down. Lobbing this one deep for Dickerson. And it is Pulaski who caught the ball. Now did he catch it in the end zone or out? And they want to call another official who looked at it from the angle. 
Pulaski, number 15, was covering Dickerson. Did he have both feet in that end zone when he caught the ball? Hayes is arguing they rule a touchdown on this. And they give it to uh, Southern Cal a touchdown. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Ohio State. Woody went out and argued on that one. Dickerson was awarded the ball on the reception. And now it's 27 to 16. I don't know. Maybe my eyes were deceiving me. I thought Pulaski had the ball. And the question was whether he is in the end zone or not. But it was now a Southern California touchdown. And they're going for the two points. And they're asking the crowd to quiet down. Pulaski was backpedaling, covering Dickinson. Looked like Pulaski had caught the ball and had it there, but whether it was in the end zone or not. And it's a Southern Cal touchdown. And some of the Ohio State fans still going. Woody Hayes raced out to argue. And he slapped the penalty on Ohio State. This is a try for the extra point now. Soggy throwing, and it's incomplete. And it right through Jim Lawrence's hand on the try for point. Well, I'd have to agree with you, Kurt. Uh, I guess both of our eyes are failing in our later years, but I thought Pulaski had it too. And in fact, I thought it, it perhaps may, they may have ruled it interference in the end zone. And here it is, Sam Dickerson going down. Well, we almost had it. Well, that's right, Lou. But uh, from our angle up here, I guess Pulaski had Dickerson blocked out and uh, both had the ball at the same time. The ball is awarded to the offensive player. So evidently, when Pulaski stepped in front of Dickerson, on our angle here, we didn't see that Dickerson also had possession of the ball in back of him. And that's why they say that, when they say the pictures don't lie, they're wrong sometimes. Even photos, like in baseball, when you cover the bags on close plays, a picture makes a man look out, but other times he's safe. It depends on the angle that you're looking at it from. And the ruling, apparently, is that the ball was caught simultaneously by the two players awarded to the offensive player. Well, it's 27 to 16, Ohio State. And they try the onside kick, and Ohio State has the ball on their 32-yard line. 44 seconds to go. 27 to 16, Ohio State. So all Ohio State has to do now is freeze away these seconds. They've got a third string quarterback long in now. <laughs> He's number 24. And Ohio State has a timeout. We hope you've enjoyed this 55th Rose Bowl game. Millions were looking on today and to the parade, and a million people were in Pasadena today to watch the famous parade and 100,000 here for the football game. For the champs of the Big Ten against the champs of the Pacific Eight. To the 35-yard line, John Brockington carried. And again, the clock has stopped. 
Southern Cal calling the timeout. Ron Masajowski has now gone in a quarterback. Maybe get back to that controversial pass reception in the end zone. If without too many technical difficulties, we can see it. And here it is again. And this is that long controversial pass. Look at it from a different angle. And the ruling was that the ball was caught simultaneously by both players, and it looked like it might have been, Kurt. Now the officials are right there on top of it. Bill Hayhoe making the tackle now, and the clock is moving. There are 30 seconds to go. You know, one thing the rerun has done, and especially the slow motion, has shown just how capable officials are in sport. They have to make a quick call, a judgment call, and most of the time they are right on it. It's amazing. The rerun just shows how good they are. Ohio State, with five seconds. Some of the fans already pouring out in the field. Three, two, one. The Ohio State Buckeyes have won the Rose Bowl 27 to 16 and strengthen their hold as the number one college football team in the country. So the final score, Ohio State 27, Southern Cal 16. Kurt Gowdy and Kyle Rhodes saying, stay with us after station identification as we switch to the Orange Bowl game between Kansas and Penn State.